Hello, thank you for tuning into my channel. It's Whip It Wednesday for Wednesday, February 12th, 2020. If you want to see what I've been working on this week, please stay tuned. <music> It's been a fun um, week this week in the craft room. I got a quilt top finish, so I'm really excited to share that. But first, um, I finished about, I think I finished six of the um, memory pillows. I'll put pictures of them here. I'll put a picture of all of them and then of each one individually. I'm sure that you've already seen some of them because if you follow my channel, I did show them. They're also on my um Instagram, um, but I've already given them to the person who asked me to make them. I still have five more left, and I'll be working on those in the coming week and hopefully have those all finished by um, Monday or Tuesday of next week. So, um, but again, that process is not very difficult, and I'll link the video where I show how I made them. Um, I will need to make some with just plain t-shirts. Most of the, all the ones I've made now are either with button down shirts or polo shirts. So I need to figure out what I want to do about the t-shirts. I think there are either two or three t-shirts that I will have to use. So I just need to decide kind of what I want to do with those. If you have any ideas about how to turn just a plain t-shirt into a pillow, leave them in the comments. I'd love to hear uh, your thoughts. And if you tried it before, let me know how it turned out. Um, for the quilt top that I finished, I'm really excited about it. It is the Baby Bargello, which is not really a baby quilt anymore. It's actually a big, huge quilt. This is just a little bit of it. I have it folded in my shoe box here. Um, I'll put a picture of the entire um, top here in the video. I really, really, really like the way that this turned out. Um, for me, this is a really special quilt. I don't know, something about the way it's come together is really striking to me. I just, I really like it. I also, um, I've made a video about how I finished this out. I'll put it, um, it's gonna come out soon, probably next week, you'll see that video. But the quilt top is finished, I really like it. Um, I used strip sets to create the additional panels, and so I have leftover strip sets here. I am probably going to cut them down and use them in my string quilts. And some of the, like some sections are really dark and some parts are light, so I may just cut that, the light parts off and put them in a separate string um separate string storage so i can pull from light and dark for my string quilt string blocks i did use um some of this to make the binding i'll pull it out a little bit so you can see all the colors but my binding is already done now all i need to do is choose batting and backing and um and get this quilt completed i really like i said i'm really excited about this quilt I, I like it so much that I sort of want to just go ahead and, and get the batting and backing, but there are several other quilts waiting in line first, so I don't know what I'm going to do yet as far as that's concerned. Um, but great, great, great quilt. Love, love, love. Um, the only other thing that I did, well, no, not the only other thing. Another thing that I did was um, I had already shown you that I had used my coin, my African fabrics as leader enders. I've gone ahead and pressed out these um, groups of three. Right now I primarily have three lengths of, um, of strips. So these are like half a width of fabric strips, so like 20 inches or so. Um, and then I have like this one, I'm not even sure, let's see. Uh, maybe about 11 inches, so maybe a quarter of that. And then, so these are, again, about a quarter. This is kind of in the middle, but it'll probably have to go with the quarter sizes. 
And then I have these, which are much smaller, maybe about five or six inches. And these have selvage on them too. So they're going to get cut down. Um, so I, I was just doing a little bit of this. I haven't dug very deep into it. Uh oh. Um, so, so I'm thinking about pulling this out a little bit, maybe, maybe, maybe just because it's easy stitching and I can work on it. Um, the only other thing is that I still have a lot of fabrics that need to be cut. These, um, they're kind of strips, but they're pretty wide. So I need to cut them before I can stitch them to these pieces. I think that, um, well, I already told you a while ago that this is going to be a coin quilt. And so it's just going to be long strips of, um, fabric and then, um, some borders in between them. Haven't really decided how that's going to work out yet, but I think I may go ahead and, and take the time to cut these so that maybe I can, um, get all the strip sets done and then decide what sashing or border fabric I want on it. But again, easy sewing, fun sewing. You don't have to really think too hard. So I like it a lot. And the last thing that I've done is, um, I've been really thinking about this graduation quilt. It is February. It's time for me to get it started. Um, and my idea for my uh, son's graduation quilt is, of course, it's going to be tumbling blocks because that's just the design I want to do. And I pulled some um, some possibilities for the layout. What I've what I'm interested in is pictures of lava because even though my son is very cool and people love him and he's mostly laid back, um, sometimes like there's a lot of determination. There's a lot of um, I want to say like fire for him. Um, and so I want to reflect that in his quilt. So what I'm thinking is it'll be mostly cool colors, but then like some kind of streak of warm colors. So I pulled this picture of lava and it's somewhere in Hawaii. I think this picture is from, and I, I just went ahead and pulled it and printed it. I printed it in color and in black and white. So that I can kind of get some ideas about color placement and this one really gives some good ideas about it um but I want to pull a few more just to get some more inspiration but this is kind of where I'm going I'm not sure how it's gonna how I'm gonna pull tumbling blocks into this design but I think I can do it and it'll be really spectacular once I get it done but I just need to do a little bit more thinking about it hopefully within um, the next few days or the next week I can have a design and then from there I'll start picking some fabrics. So that's what's been going on with me this week. Um, please leave in the comments what you've been working on and what new projects you're thinking about adding to your, your crafting repertoire, your quilting repertoire. I would love to hear about them. Um, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments as well. I'd love to answer those. Thumbs up this video, share it with your friends and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.